and part two of Bushfire Moon is tomorrow afternoon at the same time. And I still haven't found my cushions. A new prog for 91 on Children's BBC. And that'll be two red, yellow and red. Look at that, me cushions. Hang on. Let me just get them in. Thank you, by the way. Thank you. I'll be back to normal again. Hey? Hey? Someone's done something to the chair now. Still to come, the Blue Peter review of the year, but now the really wild dinosaur show. This is a very special Really Wild show because it's all about animals we've never seen alive. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs have been extinct for 64 million years, but they ruled the Earth for the 100 million years before that. And that's a thousand times longer than the human race has existed. You can see dinosaur skeletons in museums all over the world, but bare bones are not enough for us because on this show we deal in real animals. And dinosaurs were exactly that. Breathing, eating, smelling and snorting great reptiles, including the largest ever on land. So, we're going to take you on a journey into the dinosaurs' world and bring them to life. Looking at animals that are alive today. Using some very heavy machinery. A few video effects. Lifelike model animation. And even using a few of you! Yeah! It's an animal detective story that starts here in the Smithsonian Institution in Washington. There are so many things that make up an animal. Size, shape, colour, movement, the noise it makes, what it eats, and how it looks after its young. But turning a skeleton like this into a real living animal takes a lot of detective work. And with fossils, the evidence is pretty thin. Dinosaurs came in all different shapes and sizes. In all, we know of over 400 different species, and they were all reptiles, like snakes and lizards. They were generally pretty big animals. For instance, the average dinosaur would be a lot bigger than me, and some, like this Diplodocus, were absolutely massive. At 10 tons, Diplodocus weighed much more than an elephant, with a neck and tail that made the body 30 meters long. A Patasaurus was even heavier. An adult weighed 30 tons and was four times taller than me. The biggest dinosaur we've uncovered was called a Brachiosaurus. It weighed 75 tons. And like all the sauropods, it had a long neck and tail. In fact, its head was over 40 feet off the ground. 150 million years ago, the main plants were huge tree ferns and tough pines. So a long neck was vital for reaching the best vegetation at the top of the trees. An awfully long way off the ground. So this is what the world would look like to a Brachiosaurus. And this is how a Brachiosaurus...